Hey guys, how's it going? It's Helpful Lockpicker here, and today I feel a little bit inspired. Have you ever been at the store and could not resist the urge to buy a lock? What I have for you is something I find pretty interesting. I have a master lock deadbolt with a quick set KW1 keyway. I just find this entire thing to be ironic because one master lock typically is more of a padlock format and not having a quick set KW1 keyway. And both of these locks have their own track record for their ability to be picked into. So what I want to do is open this up, give it a go, and see what it takes to pick it open and we'll take it apart. So, as you can also tell, got this on clearance. So, opening this up, we're going to get our lock out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it right out so we can just hold right on to it. And then let's take a look at the key that it came with. So, one thing I want to show you is on this key, it does have the direct bidding stamped on it. So that's good if you can make reference to it, but if you are going to have a key like this, I would maybe get it duplicated and keep this key safe so you can keep that password to your lock safe and not in plain view. I do like that they did a little bit of a deeper cut in the front. That's a nice little touch. So let's see what it takes to pick open this master lock with a quick set KW1 keyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my Top of the keyway tensioner and 50 thousandths out, which should be this one right here. I'm going to use my typical pick, which is a Peterson hook number one and 25 thousandths. It's um, just their standard pick. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do some top of the keyway tension. And just bear in mind, I am a little bit rusty, but I think this will be a good testament to how difficult these locks are to get open. So I'm going to do a little bit of tension, and we will see. So I'm going to start off with position one here. This feels springy. Two, got a little click. Maybe overset it though. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I think I overset that the first time I went in, so let's just reset and see. So we're going to go again. We're going to go one, so a little springy. Two, binding, got a click. Three, a little springy. Four, got a little click. Five, one, two, three, four, got a little click. Five. Oh, I've got felt some good movement on the core there. I think this is about to open up there. Let's see. Four. Five. Let's see. Okay, one feels set. Two feels okay. Three. Four. Five. I think it might be three holding this up here. Let's see. One. Two. Come on. Come on. One, two, three, four. All right, so I hit that one in the back. I don't exactly recall which one it was. Now I just wanna say, I'm a little bit rusty on single pin picking, but I think this is a good testament to that this is not a hard lock to open up and you don't need to do it skillfully. And I find it still interesting, the master lock, quick set combo, and just how easy one of those locks can get open. Now I didn't try to rock or egg bump or zip it, but I wouldn't be surprised if you could get that open that way pretty easily too. So what I'm going to do is let's just lock this back up quickly so we can take the sir clip right off the back there, and then we can take this lock apart and just see what the insides are all about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my pickle fork. I have right here. We can try to force this sir clip off. Sometimes they can be a little bit annoying to get off, but they usually do come. Okay. Okay, so we're starting to get that off. We're just going to get the back of it off right here. Get our pinning tray. Put the clip right in here. And Put our key in. Um, looks like I might need to use a shim. It's going to be like a little bit of a gap there. I'd hate to have anything pop through. 
So let's get a shim ready just in case and use my typical follower here and let's see what happens. So I'm going to turn it and because we have the tailpiece on I will actually need to use my hollow follower so I can do that and not have to deal with the tailpiece. Sorry, so let's push this through. I'm going to leave the cylinder right here. I'll take the key out and as we can remember it is 53442 and we're going to now take out the key pins which I don't expect them to be anything fancy and they look like they are the typical master the typical quick set pins which are rounded on both sides okay and then this one fell right here and now let's work on taking out the drivers so not a big fan of this follower here so I'm just going to be careful I could honestly just switch it out okay so we got a standard pen and then a normal steel spring I'm going to switch this follower out quickly here just because it makes it easier and then in position two I'm going to have a standard spin spool and a steel spring same thing in position three and this lock didn't really pick like it had any security pins in it now position four is going to be a standard pin and a steel spring in position five it's going to be the same situation so that is going to be this lock here so this is going to be the master lock deadbolt with a quick set core it's going to have all standard pens and this is what it looks like taken apart and I want to say that this was interesting I think this was a pretty good exercise being able to show you that these locks are relatively easy to pick into and I still enjoy the irony of a master lock lock being put on your front door combined with a quick set but either way guys I'm just going to leave it at that if you guys have any questions or suggestions or anything at all please feel free to leave those in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.